Welcome back. This is Yammer Jack. We got Pallet Town on Suicidal as Gunslinger. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So we uh, we ordered food. I ordered, I ordered uh, Skip the Dishes, which is our um, like food delivery service around here. Oh, we also have, I believe, DoorDash, uh, but not specifically where I live. That's more downtown, um, where my grandparents live, for now. Anyway. Um, but, uh, so I, uh, your I just skip the dishes relatively frequently. Um, and last night, we, uh, we ordered skip, except, so they, they said that we're, that my, my parents said that I'm on my own for dinner, and I'm like, yeah, I can, I can understand that. I don't really feel like making dinner either. So, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna order, uh, poutine. And uh, so everybody's like, ooh, I also want poutine. So my parents ordered fat burger poutine, or they ordered fat burger like burgers. Um, and uh, they um, they had their own like delivery fee and tip. My sister ordered fat burger poutine. She had her own delivery fee and tip. And then I ordered sushi, and I had my own delivery fee and tip. And I'm like, we just paid probably like 20 25 dollars or something to get all this food delivered to our house like that's kind of you know I'm, I'm okay with spending the money on it because I don't, I don't I'm fine with that but like it's just just from a it's, it's kind of crazy right we should have just had it on one order but it's all good it was uh, it was, it was, it was good fun to, to Cause we got like three delivery cars in the span of I don't know 15 minutes or something, and I'm like, you know, just looking at the neighbors, seeing these these three cars roll up to our driveway, and uh, drop off these these bags of food. I don't know. It, it must it must look a little bit um, pecky, and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was funny to me. So, we also, one of the, the first guy that came was my, uh, my parents' food. Who, uh... Hello? Stupid thing. Um, who's a driver? No, it was, I think my... Okay, so my parents came first, and they, uh... They found the way to the driveway just fine. My sisters came second. And this dude's, we, I live in a, in a cul-de-sac. And, uh, my driveway is off to the, like, in, in the cul-de-sac, right? It's a reasonably long driveway, probably, like, I don't know, 40, 50 feet long. Um, most people who deliver food to our house park at, like, the end of the driveway. They don't actually pull all the way up to uh, near the house. They'll, they'll, they'll park right at the end of the driveway and then walk the whole way down the driveway. And... I always find that kind of funny because I'm like, you could just drive up closer. Like, I I, don't, I really don't get the the points of parking farther away. Like, cause I don't know. Some people say that's for safety, right? You want to not be attacked or whatever. But I'm like, okay. So let's let's say, for instance, that I'm an evil person and I'm going to attack you for delivering my food to me that I ordered. Okay, sure. Um, it does happen, like extremely rarely, but. It does. It does happen. So being being careful is is fine. So let's let's say, for instance, that uh, I'm doing that, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my knife on you when you when you come up to my house to drop off my food. Wouldn't you want your car to be closer so that you could get to it sooner? Like you're just putting your escape route farther away. It's just it seems counterproductive to me. Um, but hey, so they always they always park at like the end of the driveway, uh, and then walk the forty feet down the driveway to get to. Uh, it's not like a long walk or anything, but I'm just like you could just pull up another forty feet and <laughs> you'd be fine. Um, but they uh, they they basically never do. Uh, but this guy, this guy who delivered my uh, my sister's poutine last night. He didn't even come into the driveway. He was just literally in the center of this cul-de-sac. Bouncy. 
He was just in the middle of the cul-de-sac. Parked his car. Didn't even park it because you don't want to actually park your car. Um, I guess a similar reason. You want to, at least at nighttime, which it wasn't nighttime. It was actually relatively well lit. Uh, still had the sun up. But, you know, you, you want to keep your lights on and and have your car running if you have to yeet, right? But he parked in the middle of the drive, in the, in the middle of the cul-de-sac. And I'm like, look, you're, you're being a little bit, you're, you're going a little bit too far there. Because somebody had to, like, drive into the cul-de-sac and, and into their driveway, and they have to, like, drive around this dude who's just parked in the middle of the cul-de-sac for, for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah. Would have been just easier for my neighbors if uh, he just pulled into our driveway. I don't get why he didn't. And uh, the other thing is, is he delivered uh, the bag of food, right? So we got the, the bag of food. And, uh... Really? One of those hit your head for sure. So we got, so we got the bag of food, and he uh, he brought it to us. And uh, left, it at, uh, let our, left it at our door. And then he walks back out to his car. At this point, because he's in the middle of the driveway, it's like an easy 55, 60 feet away, right? So it's we're starting to get into the like, yeah, that's like a a decent walk. It's not a long walk. Like you're not going. Like you're not. It's not. I wouldn't call it like exercise, but like there is there is a amount of time that it takes to walk that distance. It's not a long time, but you you know the back and forth it's 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 taking up some time right so he gets back to his car and he's he's checking on the stuff or whatever and uh, then I see him walking back down with this this can of, uh, of soda and apparently he forgot to bring my sister soda so he walked all the way back to the car got the soda walked all the way back to the house and uh, dropped off the soda and then walked back to his car finished up you know Punching in whatever he has to punch in for finishing a delivery, you know, finish the delivery, grabbing the next delivery, heading off to wherever he has to go, you know, whatever, whatever it is you have to do. And at this point, he's he's in our, just in the middle of the cul-de-sac for like two or three minutes with his car running. And I'm like, bruh, just why? And it's just inconveniencing people. You seem like a nice enough fellow, but... Bruh, <laughs> don't park in the cul-de-sac. I didn't get it, but uh, that's what that's what he did. So I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if he has a reason for it or or whatever. It's also kind of hard to see our uh, our number, like the the number on, on our house, because my sister has this uh, like chair outside. And it kind of blocks the line of view to our. Uh, to our, uh, to our, like, sign thingy, numbers on the wall thingy. So, we, uh, you know, they, they can have some trouble figuring out what house it is even at, at times. I always like to leave some, uh, like, landmark direction kind of thing, like, you know, live on the, the right side of the hedge, or on the, uh, there's a green truck at the end of the driveway, or whatever, right? Just have them have some kind of uh, an idea of of where they're going, even without the number, and then be like, "Yeah, this is where Google Maps is telling me that kind of meet matches the description. This is probably it. I'll just go see, right?" And uh, I never got any feedback on it. No, nobody's ever said like, "Hey, thanks for that. Like, it kind of helped." But since I started giving some kind of uh, directions to the house outside of specifically the number, people have definitely uh, made it into the the driveway a lot more confidently. It's uh, it's kind of neat to see because when I uh, like before you'd see them drive into the cul-de-sac, kind of drive around, and then like uh, leave the cul-de-sac and uh, like go look around again, and then they'd come back into the cul-de-sac and uh, like poke around, and then they'd walk up to the driveway and be like, "Yes, yeah, this is probably it," and then. Um, finally deliver their food, right? Like, it was a whole process. It was a whole process. Uh, once I started putting that in, like, I could just see them come up to the cul-de-sac and just, like, confidently, 
Like, they knew where they were going. Just immediately pull into the driveway, and uh, they knew where they were going. So, uh, I haven't gotten any feedback on it. Nobody's told me that it helps them yet, but from my perspective, it's definitely made an improvement in, uh, in how easy they can find the house. So, that's good at least. Oh, I needed that stretch. That was a good stretch. Alright. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.